Here is the lineup for this Class 3 over 1600 metres. And Red Marble will be having his eighth race start for the season. Agree was a big winner last start. And the 10 pound claimer goes on here, Victor Wong for John Moore. So a winner without penalty. 10 pound less, in fact. Razor Quest, Royal Performer from the dirt to the turf. Super former last start winner. We go down to Goldland, Diamond Dragon. Fiyama up to a mile with cheek pieces on for the first time. And Everest, also an impressive last start winner. And he's a winner without penalty, but only the one pound less. I wouldn't uh, expect Agree and Everest to hang around here. They'll both be uh, wanting to go on, both claiming riders on these horses. And they've both produced strong efforts from the front as well. So I see no reason for them to, to muck around out in front. Royal Performer should map quite well. And Gold landing behind there too. He's not without a chance if he puts his best hoof forward. Agree's in great form, as you mentioned. He's won two of his last four starts, this horse. Uh, and with that £10 claim, he looks pretty attractive from barrier number one. He should get uh, to the front with no problems. It's just whether he gets taken on, which he could, uh, he could well happen. Uh, and as you say, with Everest, who is another horse who loves to lead. Really, he was taken with this horse's last start. He got really well back. He hit the line strongly. His track work, again, has been since... Uh, has been good since, and you can see it here. He's going really nicely. The mile will suit with Joe Marrera aboard. And here is Everest. Uh, he's another one who's been in great form. Since the blinkers went on, that's the, been the real key to this horse. We see horses improve with blinkers on, and he's a case in point, this horse here, Everest. And he works with them, and he's probably sleeps in them now. This <laughs> is every chance, Paul. We'll focus on him uh, first, Everest. And I dare I say it, I don't think he's reached the top of the mountain at this stage. Um, the... Poon claim here, and I think obviously uh, the Wong claim, these two youngsters could potentially dictate the pace. I tend to think it might slightly be in the favour of Everest because Agree is in this race and he clearly yeah. had his measure on this occasion. Yes, uh, Agree slightly better off of the weights here, but uh, Everest, yeah, he had a good draw on this occasion. He just pointed them in the right direction. They didn't muck around. It was uh, uh, a pretty, pretty easy uh, tactically uh, from, a, from a tactical perspective with mm. this horse. And I think something similar is going to eventuate. He's going to be taken on probably by Agree, uh, but I still see the pair of them, even if they go quite hard, uh, they're, they're well enough handicapped. They'll both feature in the finish. Well, I think they're both a big chance of running the queue. Yeah. What order, I'm not exactly sure. We're going to look at Royal Performer now, who's a, an interesting inclusion into the race because his best effort, I think, and probably some of his better efforts have been on the dirt, but he has run well on the turf. He goes in second up and he's back to the grass. Yeah, back on the grass. I thought it was a good run here, fresh up from him. Hit the line very strongly. Uh, but I prefer to see him on the surface. The dirt, even Happy Valley for me. Yeah, rather than chart in turf. Yeah, yeah. Take calculation out of this. It was a really good performance, wasn't it? He's, he's won first up without calculation. Mm. So I think for me, a bit like Paul, I've seen him run his best races on the dirt, so I'd be happier, happier with him it's there. It's a good effort from Casper. He hadn't had a run for 10 months there mm. to do that uh, first up. Fiyama is a nice type of animal, no doubt. Getting to the mile is going to be perfect. He's reeled off a 22.41, a 22.55 last 400 in his first two starts. If he can do something like that, stepping to the mile... Look out, the leader's late. Yeah, and they, they were winning from the front again this day as well. And he got really well back. He hit the line very strongly. Joe Marrera jumps aboard. Third start now with him. And Berto out. He's, he, he's drawn wide, but it doesn't matter. He gets back, he runs on. The mile might, suits him. You might have jotted that down in a little horse to follow list too, if I remember <laughs> rightly, Paul. Yeah, I like well, it. Uh, Umberto Rispoli has ridden him twice. Mm. He's very keen on him. And obviously Umberto's indisposed at the moment. Marrera's got on. Everest and Agree will tow them along at a good pace, set it up nicely for Fiamma. Yep. Well, there are three last start winners in this race. Superform is the other. Let's hear from Chad Schofield. Chad, you ride super form on Monday. Going into his last run, all of his form had been at Happy Valley. It was a $28 chance. Did you think that he could win that? Um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting what he did, but his win was, was quite strong. He travelled well throughout, and when I asked him for an effort, he really picked up and, and sprinted nicely. So. I'm um, drawing a similar gate in a similar field, so you know he's had a nice gap between then and now, and he's still a fresh horse. So let's hope he can reproduce. You've ridden him in his work in that time, about six weeks between runs. How's he feeling? He's feeling very well. He's 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 going well at the moment, and um, it looks a nice race for him. It's a good win from uh, Super Form. As I said, three last start winners in this race. Paul, who did you settle on? Yeah, got him in there for fourth. But Fiamma, I think the race will be set up perfectly for this horse. Hit the line very strongly. I think it's going to take the world of beating. So he's on top. Agree from the front. Uh, Diamond Dragon, I thought, uh, he's another one that will, will like this pace in this particular race. And he's been in quite good form recently, this horse. I, I did. He did catch the eye when he finished off uh, last start in Super Form. 
as you mentioned, last start winner. 11, 2, 10 and 5, but I think 11 will win. Now I've hedged the old bets here, got a couple of the speed horses and a couple of closers just to uh, try and have all the uh, bases covered. Going to go with Fiamma on top, though. This race will be run to suit the first two races he's run in Hong Kong, weren't. This will be. Agree in there for second with that £10 claim. Everest will be there or thereabouts, but it's going to be slightly trickier as well, cutting across from a wide draw, but he's well handicapped. And Diamond Dragon, I've seen him absolutely sluice home on occasions. And again, if they go hard out in front, he'll be staying on. So, yeah, a couple of closers and a couple of on-pace runners. Yeah, it looks a good competitive race, the penultimate race of the afternoon. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back we'll have a look at race 10 along with all the best bets. Stay with us.